Many Americans found themselves grounded over the long Memorial Day weekend as airlines were forced to cancel thousands of flights. Several factors were to blame, including a nationwide pilot shortage. We get more on all this from CBS's Errol Barnett. For Leona Sorrell, passion for flying runs in the family. My dad was a pilot. I always liked aviation. When he passed away, I decided that I wanted to make it my goal. Sorrell has flown more than 300 hours, a fraction of the more than 1,500 she'll need to become a commercial airline pilot. The certification process can cost well above $100,000. This is a national issue. It's uh, affecting the whole domestic aviation industry. The past two years saw a steep decline in pilot graduations as flight schools were closed and airlines stopped hiring. Over the next decade, more than 14,000 pilot openings are projected each year. An astounding 70% of airports have less service today than they did in 2019. Rural parts of the country are suffering the most as airlines cut routes to smaller markets. There are communities across the nation that have lost all their air service. The airlines are getting creative to get pilots trained for the flight deck. United and Alaska have created their own flight schools, and Delta eliminated their four-year degree requirement, the last carrier to do so. We need roughly a thousand or so this year. The pandemic exacerbated the issue with older pilots accepting buyouts. Southwest struggled last year when weather put pilots out of place. They didn't have the staff to cover shifts, causing mass cancellations. The uh, number one priority this year, it's really basic, it is get staffed. Now, potential solutions gaining attention include raising the retirement age for pilots by two years or lowering that flight hour requirement. But it would require an act of Congress to make those updates, and pilots unions are against these ideas anyway. So this shortage, Nora, will likely last for years to come. Yeah, but an urgent need. Errol Burnett, thank you so much.